Hello, I'm Polly, and welcome back to another great year. I'm Maya. And I'm Manny. For those of you who don't know about INI Polly, we're here to give you a brief explanation. INI Polly is our school's news segment program. Every other week, we'll be telling you about the latest developments and upcoming events occurring in our school. It is split up from student interviews to also announcements. And there's also a lot of fresh faces here on our campus. And we're not just talking about freshmen. That's right. There's some new staff that we'd like to introduce. Here is Back to School Introductions. Uh, my name is Mr. Nam, and I am the ninth grade geography teacher. Uh, I'm June Park. Well, most of the students might call me uh, Mr. Park. And I'm teaching Math 3 for 10th uh, graders. And this is my first year here. What compelled you to take this job? Well, it's going to be a long answer. Is that all right? OK. Uh, I came here to observe one math class for junior and for juniors and about three years ago. And I was here for about a month. And I noticed that students are really authentic, meaning, and they're genuine. They're down to earth, and then they're friendly, and they're willing to try their best. And they're honest as well. So I really like this school. I've been eyeing on this school for a long time, and there's a position open, so I just applied. Um, there's a lot of things to like about iPoly, especially like looking into the website and things like that. But uh, I think I was intrigued by the opportunity because you guys are kind of a project-based school. And for me, my teaching style is all about collaboration. It's all about character. So I think uh, learning happens when you discuss ideas and you exchange ideas. And so because you guys were able to do that and have a lot of opportunities for that, I thought it fit my teaching style. I'm a pretty new teacher, so I want to get rolling with this type of environment in the school. Yeah. What are your first impressions of the school? Um, because it's small, probably. Like, I see the same faces over and over again. So. Um, it's pretty friendly. I feel kind of at home. Uh, the staff and the students are pretty welcoming. I have ninth graders and so it's nice to kind of get started with them too. So I feel pretty comfortable and I feel like it's because of the size of the school, because of the collaboration and stuff like that. My first impression is that, yeah, students are genuine, honest. I'm not just saying that. I could read that in my students' faces and I see in their actions, everyday actions. For example, I, I open the door for some students, keep the door open. Even if they don't say thank you, they smile at me. I know it's genuine. And some students do that for me, and I do that for my students. And it's, it's, it's a really great feeling, and that's what I kind of see and notice first. Okay? So that's my first impression. Is there anything you would like the viewers to know about you? My students. Okay. Well, I'm quite friendly, and because of that, some students think that uh, there are no rules in my classroom. Well, I want my students to be expressive of, of their ideas, okay? However, I just want some of my students to be careful that I'm so relaxed and lag, in a sense, lax in the classroom. However, there are certain things I'm really sensitive about. Number one, I'm not going to let anyone disrespect anyone in my classroom. So all of a sudden, I was smiling, chatting with some students, and I may almost get, get mad, OK? If I see some students trying to uh, be disrespectful to each other. I'm a pretty quiet guy, generally. I'm not like too dramatic or too like crazy, anything like that. But some people might view that as someone that's unfriendly or scary. Uh, I love talking to people, especially about sports. So if you want to talk about Dodgers or football or things like that, um, please, please come up to me, introduce yourself, and let's talk. Well, I'm really glad that we're now all caught up. For many incoming freshmen, high school can be a rough transition. And if you're nervous, don't worry. We have an entire segment just for you. We interviewed a whole bunch of students here at Night Poly to see what their views are about the school. Hi, my name is Taryn. I'm a reporter from INI Poly, and today we will be interviewing students to see what they're most excited about in this INI Poly school year. I'm here with George. He's a freshman. He's going to tell us about his first day at INI Poly. Hi, I'm George, like she said. Yeah, so, first day at INI Poly. What can I say? It was an amazing day. Uh, I got used to the routine already. 
Uh, my first day, I made a lot of cool friends. I made those friends friends, and I had Subway for lunch, which was cool. The first few weeks of school can be a very unique experience no matter how many times you've gone through them. We'll be gathering some student thoughts on how they're adjusting. So we have Rudy the sophomore here today to tell us what he's excited about this iPoly school year. Yeah, hi, my name is Rudy and I'm a sophomore here. And the thing I'm most excited about this school year is the release of Guy Rudy episode two. We have found this lovely lady here, Dianara. She's a sophomore and she's gonna tell us what she's excited about this iPoly school year. So, what are you looking forward to? Honestly, I'm just looking forward for dramas and musical lenses. You guys should go watch it. Um, actually, the Olympics are also kind of interesting. They seem fun. Upperclassmen have told me good things, so we'll see how they go, but they probably might. I'm, they're most likely going to be stressful, but we'll see, but still looking forward for it. So, I'm here with... Andres, Aldana. Okay, <laughs> it's a senior year. So, how does it feel for it to be your last year? To be honest, I don't I don't really care. Like, I don't know, like, it's just a year. Just trying to get it done. It's great, get I'm it out done. Of here. Okay. Hopefully now you know what to expect from your time here at iPoly. Besides the new faces, we also repurposed the old ASB room. From now on, room 1023 is now the new connection center. Let's take a closer look into our new facility. Hello everyone, this is Isa from INI Poly, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Connection Center, and we will also be introducing you to some of the counselors that are new to IPoly. I'm sure everybody at IPoly knows you by now. Not everybody, I'm sure. Most people, I know. <laughs> Most people know you by now. But um, I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about the Connection Center since it is a new resource, and what you do specifically. Okay, well the Connection Center is, I believe, designed for the purpose of allowing uh, students to come in and connect with their counselors or connect with a um, resource uh, teacher, connect with myself on the academic monitor to check grades and perhaps see uh, what resources are out there for tutoring or for strategizing in terms of improving grades. Um, at some point, I think it's uh, going to be a, a hub of some sort where there's going to be a lot more going on. It's a drop-in center, so kids can come in and they can you know, maybe chat with their counselor about college, or they can chat with uh, any one of us about you know, certain issues and even might like, be affecting them. And, yeah. Okay, so you can see Poly. Do you want to introduce yourself to the students because I'm really Yes, my name is Ms. Vivian Okoro, I'm a special education teacher. I have been with Los Angeles County Office of Education for over 27 years, but this is a new start for me, and I'm so happy to be at iPad. Thank you. And um, do you want to tell us maybe what you do specifically in the Connection Center? Yes, I am a resource specialist, so my job is to actually help the kids that are assigned to my kids to progress in their uh, goals and educational objectives and to support the whole school in general. So I'm Ms. Vasquez. I'm the new counselor here at iPoly. Um, I've been a counselor for a couple years now. I worked at a, a charter school, other regular high schools. I worked in the juvenile middle schools. Um, and now I'm here. So I'm one of the counselors here along with Mr. Annapal and we do a lot of academics career counseling and social emotional. Great. Um, do you think you could tell us maybe what um, the benefits of the Connection Center are to the students? Because this whole thing is new to our parents. Right. So the Connection Center was created to kind of be a one-stop shop. We have both of our counselors here. We have Ms. Eddie and we have our research teacher here. So it's it's a place for students to come in, go walk in, um, get help with whatever it is that they need. And it kind of builds a community. Sense of community here at and 
one last question. How are you personally enjoying high quality so far? To be honest with you, I'm like so happy. Uh, you can see it on my face. Uh, even though it's a very small campus, I'm used to like 4,000 students and stuff. But this is so nice and so cozy. So, but I still need to get used to the culture of the school. Yeah. So I need help. Yeah, well, we're all here to help you if you need anything. Thank you so much. And thank you. If you need any help, please refer to the people in the Connection Center. There are a few things to look forward to over the next couple of weeks. If you want to help our improv team, don't worry. After school today, there's going to be an improv show in the NPR starting at 1 o'clock. Tickets will be sold for $3. For those of you drama kids, Les Mis auditions will be September 9th, and improv auditions will be September 13th. And that's been a wrap for this week. I'm Manny. And I'm Maya. And this has been Your Eye Night Polly. Polly.